and we're backstage for InStyle Runway 2 and I'm sitting here with Louise and we're about to prepare her hair for the next runway show and what we're doing here is a beautiful smooth manicured look um, on Louise and all the models we're gonna have a nice smooth slick back um, top with beautiful manicured waves through the back and what we're going to be doing to exaggerate the look is we're going to be adding in some hair extensions um, to Louise's beautiful hair just to give it a little bit more volume and a bit more volume and it just helps hold the waves through Louise's hair with all the changes she has to do on the runway and it's a great way. The hair extensions we're going to be using a show pony and I'm going to show you how simply and easy it is and we'll talk you through the look that we've done and what we've done at the moment is we've blow wave Louise's hair using L'Oreal volume lift through the roots, directionally blow waving it all back and nice and smooth and applying it through the hair to add some volume because we always need to add volume and make the hair obedient and that's one of the key things. And what we're going to do now is we're going to start at the back section and add about three rows through the back so that I'll add a bit more um, volume, not so much length but just so much volume and also to give a bit more extra support to Louise's hair because she has very, very fine hair. Working through the back section of the hair starting down, we're only going to add three rows, so we're going to start down below the occipital bone, which is the large bone on the back of your head, take a nice clean section straight across the back, and we're going to just apply some glue, just a few dabs of glue, we just hold it onto the hair. We're using eyelash glue, so it's not normal glue. It's um, what we call eyelash glue, so it's very, really fantastic. You just hold it on, it, it joins very, very quickly. We'll add a little bit of heat um, to it. And we just allow it to dry. We'll just add a couple of little, because we're working very quickly because it's runway. We're going to just put a couple of clips just for a few minutes, just to secure, make sure it's in there. We're going to go to the next section, and we're going to add another section working our way up the head. She bruises clothes, she splutters pistol shows, hold her down with soggy clothes and breeze blows. She's morphine, queen of my vaccine, my love, my love. So what we're going to do now is we're going to work a product through the top part of um, Louise's hair. We're going to use a combination of L'Oreal Fix Max Gel with a tiny little bit of L'Oreal Techniart um, Loose Control. And we'll start behind the ear. And the trick with this is to put it so you can't see, so it holds the hair without it interfering and looking very, very greasy. So by painting it, we mix it up into a bowl and using a paintbrush and we just apply a very small amount at the roots. Working across to the other side. And using your comb and you comb it down, just working that small little section. It's really important to keep it nice and neat. Use your fingers and the comb to press it into the root and hold it nice and flat. Drop another section over here, over the top. Your first couple of sections, you can be a little bit more heavy handed as it's got to seep through. And as you work your way forward, you are much more lighter with your application of product. Now, as you can see, as we're working our way to the top, we have already, the extensions have already been placed into Louise's hair, still doing the same application, applying the product on the root area. Obviously, you need to be, when you're combing it through, just support the extensions, but still working through the style. She's morphine, queen of my vaccine, my love, my love, love, love. And as we're working, 
working with a side part, the extensions that we've applied, if I just lift this up here, and you can have a closer look. Put them on an angle, so it will work with um, the hair coming round on the side. It's really important that the extensions are put in the direction that you want the hair to move. Um, that way they look very, very natural and nobody will see them. The key thing with extensions is they're just meant to look like an extension of your hair, not an artificial added on piece. A really great trick to do is when you want to hold the sides back into place, you can't put a clip because it will mark. So a really great promotional trick that um, we do is we use a business card either with your logo or your name and you put it in the area that you want to hold, put a pin curl clip on and you allow it to set and dry. It's also a great trick when you want to hold your fringe out of the way while you're putting your makeup on but you don't want to have a pin mark on your hair. Um, in a salon, clients really love it um, and it's, it's just a quirky little promotional. But it just holds the hair flat down and allows you to continue working with the minimum of fuss. Now you can see there Louise's half the hair is curled and half of it isn't. And the curly is the extensions and I haven't even worked it through. But you can see that that, that is blending as a colour palette really, really well. Once I've curled the rest of Louise's own hair, it will blend through beautifully and I'll be able to brush it out and it'll work beautifully with the style. And the most important thing with extensions is that you can mix it. As if you were having highlights in the salon, different colour highlights. This is the way of having different colour foils but extensions added through a client's hair. Um, without having colour. But you can see already, look at the volume and the amount of hair that she's got, um, instant hair growth. Here we are backstage, as you can imagine, pressure's on, countdown's on, doing hair and makeup at the same time. It's all the fun. So what we've done, Louise is having her makeup and the hair's been setting, which is really great. Um, we've curled it and allowed it to cool. But because we've got it, you know, I've got to do this really skillfully because otherwise the makeup artist is going to get very cross with me. So all I'm doing now is just taking out, and all we've done is just use pin curl clips, just some little clips, just to hold the curls. And when you, if you wanted to do this yourself at home, you could just do it with um, hair pins. And as you can see, that's a beautiful little blend of colour. I'm just going to give it a light spray of hairspray before I actually give it a brush through. Because it's important just to help it set. Always never, never push your luck. Always a little bit of a spray. And what I'm doing, just using a wide comb, just holding the top and just a small section at a time. I'm just going to comb it through. She's morphine, queen of my vaccine, my love, my love, love, love. And as you can see, a beautiful blend of wave, very, very subtle, very fashionable. If I run my hands through it, you can see beautiful movement, very, very subtle, and it looks lovely. Very natural, you cannot see. Remember that I did two different colour highlights through her hair and her own hair and it's a beautiful finish and with just so much more volume she can wear it really curly or we can brush it out because the runway look for in style is a just a beautiful manicured wave once we're finished with the makeup we'll give you the big reveal and get Louise to have a turn and a bit of a pose I hope you like the look okay so here we have um, Louise in her final outfit, about to walk the runway, looking gorgeous with her hair and her makeup, ready to run. I hope you like it. You better watch the show, it's going to be fun. <laughs>